This is what $10 a night can get you in Japan. And this is what $10,000 a night can get you in Japan. Today, I'll be staying overnight in the cheapest and most expensive hotels in all of Japan to see if they truly live up to their price points or not and what you can expect from both accommodations. Yeah. But boys, before we move on to the video, let me tell you about the sponsor of today, Honkai Star Rail. The talk of the town right now, it's the brand new space fantasy RPG by Hoyoverse, the creators of Genshin Impact. You're about to witness me spending a crap load of money for this video, but thankfully you can experience royalty that is absolutely free because Honkai Star Rail is a free to play cross platform RPG, meaning that you can play it on both mobile and PC. Maybe you can play it both at the same time. I'm not stopping you. And uh, in case you've been living under a rock, uh, your boy also voices a character as well as my fellow trash taste companion so uh, that's a little fun easter egg you can look out for with this reimagined tactical combat there is an endless amount of team building possibilities with diverse enemies environments characters and upgrades for a truly personalized strategy combine that with its rich interactive experiences in a semi-open world you can go out discover treasure chests solve puzzles and uncover the stories of its inhabitants unraveling the world's secrets at every turn for example check out the newest five star character Jin Yuan look at him he's one of the Shane Zhou Alliance's six general who leads the Cloud Knights of the Shenjo Lawfu. I very much relate to this character with his seemingly laid back demeanor, yet underlying calculating nature, which makes him not only a fun character to play as, but an interesting and complex character to explore in the game as well. And I mean, check out his ultimate skill and his exceptional multi-target AOE damage. Jin Yuan is here to not only blow devastating damage to your enemies, but do it with the finesse of Riz as well. I took one look at this character and thought, damn, I need to play as him right this instant. So that's what I'm gonna go and do. Go down to the link in the description below to check out the game for free right now and use my cone on screen right here for extra 50 Stellar Jades. That's this code right here. Trust me, it's worth it. Make sure to put it in. Thank you to Hoyoverse for the sponsor. Now let's move on to the video. So let's start off with the cheapest hotel in Japan. That building right there, that is Puchi Hotel Akagi. We're in the middle of Gunma Prefecture right now in a little place called Showamura. Although that may look like a shack that you'd find in Resident Evil 7, that is in fact a hotel. A hotel so cheap that one night per person roughly will set you back 1,500 yen or about $10 USD, which in concept seems pretty insane, right? A roof over your head, common amenities, all for $10 a night. But then when you actually get here and stand in front of it, the price makes a lot more sense now because I am not even joking. This is a building that is standing in the middle of an open field. I mean, every direction that you look is just nothing but fields, fields, and more fields all the way up onto the mountains over there. And shockingly enough, I am the only customer for today, even though I think this place has roughly five rooms. I genuinely wonder how many people have decided to sleep over here. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why would they put a hotel out in the middle of nowhere here? Well, I'll tell you. Very close by here, there are lots of big entertainment facilities, such as a golf course and a ski resort. So I guess this hotel is supposed to be a quick and easy access to get to those places and back. Because let me tell you, uh, there is not a single decently sized town or city anywhere near here. I believe the closest city from here is about an hour down the road. So hopefully if you're watching this video, I didn't die in here, but I'm probably about to experience one of the worst nights of my life. Let's go. We got our room key. We're at 204, so we're on the second floor right now. Turns out this place is just owned by one old guy. Go figure. Seemed a little bit cranky, but you know, still treated us nice, you know. Got us, got our check-in shit sorted out, which is good. So uh, let's go check out a $10 room, shall we? The floorboards are so creepy. Is that a raccoon taxidermy? You know, this place really does remind me of my grandpa's place. So much so. Even like the, the, the bookshelves right here. Also, I just realized I'm really glad we came here when it was a little bit warmer because I'm pretty sure we have to pay for these stoves. It says here, stoves are 300 yen per night and the oil used for it is 100 yen per night, which uh, I'd say bit of a rip off an entire quarter of the accommodation price. Ew. At least that got us in the comment though. That's a goaded manga. Let's uh, go in and find out what this place is like. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Dude, what the f I mean, I don't know what I was expecting in a $10 a night room. It's $10 per person, by the way. So since there's me and Nabi, our cameraman, it's actually closer to like $20, $25 a night, which, uh, oh my God, what a rip off, am I right? <laughs> but uh, at least we get our own beds. 
which is nice, and a TV cabinet, and what looks to be a 40 inch television. I think most gaming monitors are bigger than that nowadays. Oh, and I love this added little uh, light system we got here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I, I didn't pull down hard enough, apparently. Can I just say though, the tatami is not the best situation. I really don't want to know what that stain is right there. You guys can't feel it, but this floor is extremely uneven. Like this little area here, it actually kind of dips into the ground and it actually dips in in all sorts of places. So God knows how old this place is. Oh, good. And there is an, a wall outlet that's just sticking out of the ground as well. It's just chilling there. I'm pretty sure that's a fire hazard, having an open outlet. Oh my God, look at the dust on this dude. Is this supposed to be like the Bible? Oh, it is the Bible. It's the Japanese Bible. But you know, with hotels, they always say, check out the view, because you're also paying for half the view. So so, so let's uh, let's crack open the only window in the room and uh, get, a, get a look at this view, shall we? An amazing view of never ending greenhouses. I mean, we showed you guys before when we rocked up here, but we are literally in the middle of a field. Like there is nothing else around, maybe a couple of houses here and there, but honestly, it's just fields for kilometers on all four sides. It really does just kind of stick out in the middle of this very, very empty plot of land. And I guess this guy just lives here doing this for a living. I'm, I'm really not too sure. I'm honestly too scared to go and ask him because I genuinely wonder how many customers he gets per month because uh, today we're the only ones in this building. So uh, I don't know if we're going to end up like a Resident Evil 7 situation where we just get chopped up and thrown into a pond or uh, we're going to make it out alive tonight and hopefully uh, enjoy a much nicer hotel tomorrow. <laughs> Let's check out the rest of the room, shall we? And by the rest of the room, I mean this very discolored <sighs> wardrobe. Let's see what's inside. Extra futons. You know, just in case you want a third friend to join in on the party. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the world's shortest hotel room tour. I am really scared to sleep here tonight because not only do we have to drive out quite far to get to the nearest sign of civilization, but again, we are the only ones in this building tonight with a random old dude in the middle of a field. Anybody in Hollywood can tell you that that is a great plot for a horror movie. But I'd say I'm feeling a little bit hungry. Let's go and get a dinner that is suitable for an accommodation such as this. Where the hell's the food? So we just got back from uh, buying food and water and essentials that we need to survive the night. And I just noticed the moon. Look at that. It's a, it's a freaking blood moon. It's like you can't make this shit up. The, the day that we spend a night at the cheapest hotel in Japan, looking in like a Resident Evil 7 cottage and you get the red moon out as well. Definitely gonna die today. All right, we're back in our hotel room. Let me show you guys the dinner that we got for tonight. First, a big bottle of water, not sponsored. And you know, I'm on a bit of a budget, right? Because I, I, I didn't want to spend over the hotel limit. You know, this place is only 10 bucks. So I thought, let's keep it low. And I got myself sticks, vegetable sticks. Okay, you might be laughing right now. These are actually kind of dope. Also, uh, screw you guys for laughing. I'm healthy and you're not. At least the TV here works and there is internet uh, running through this place. Thank God Japan prioritizes 4G towers. So at least it won't be like complete shambles, but uh, I'm really worried if I'm gonna be able to sleep in this room. Normally I'm not too fussy about, you know, how fancy or not fancy a hotel room is. But I mean, th this is a completely different ballpark, let's be real. But yeah, I'll eat my dinner, maybe watch some TV, uh, you know, screw around on my phone, maybe make a couple of hot takes on Twitter and, uh, Get to bed. Delicious. Guess it's time for bed. Ugh. I don't know. It, 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 it doesn't feel too bad. Honestly, I think though my standards are just messed up because I think of this situation that I'm currently in and then I think back and remember that I slept on the floor of a f***ing prison one night. So compared to that, this is a luxury. But yeah, I'll try and get some sleep and then I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow morning. Where's me? Well, it's roughly eight in the morning. I feel disgusting. It was very, very dusty. And uh, I'm honestly surprised I got any amount of sleep at all. But we have officially completed the $10 a night hotel. I'm not proud. It's funny, I woke up this morning to go and check out and the dude is just like, 
gone. He's not even here. His car is not here. So I assume he just like up and left somewhere. But I think the one thing that surprised me the most about this $10 a night hotel is the fact that I looked on Google Maps of this place and the Google reviews of this place were actually pretty high. It was like a 4.6 out of five. So if that has told me anything, don't trust Google reviews because I certainly would not give this place a 4.6 out of five. But we survived the $10 a night hotel. Let's move on to something a little nicer, AKA a thousand times nicer. See you later. God damn. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Hakuba in Nagano Prefecture. This is a very famous ski resort, probably one of the top three ski resorts in Japan. Funnily enough, I actually used to work in a hotel very close to here about 10 years ago. It's actually where I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, so go figure. But today I booked out this location named Cannoli Resorts. And as you've already probably figured out, this place is roughly worth $10,000 a night, which is absolutely absurd. I've never heard of anyone except like famous celebrities and politicians booking out places like this. But today, this is all mine. But I'm excited to go check this place out. Let's go inside. First of all, this entrance is freaking absurd. I mean, <laughs> I feel like I'm going into like a Bond villain's lair. Also, it's very, very modern and very, very clean, which is what I like. So already, this place is quite different. There are actually two entrances. We have the main entrance over here for the normal folk. And then there's an entrance over that direction, which is for those who have just finished shredding the slopes. For those who are coming in with maybe some ski boots, don't want to like tarnish the nice floors because let's be real with an entrance like this everything else in here is going to be insane all right let's go check it out jesus christ <laughs> what is this oh my god so uh we have the entrance way which looks freaking absurd uh but let's, let's just go in so here we have the first floor because yes this place does indeed have two stories and this is the living room idea and look at that who's who's that over there hey it's fucking here it's my beautiful girlfriend hey what's up when did you get here when did, that's the question i want to ask you when did you get here i ski jumped here did you see that big ski jump ramp i did oh. see that uh i cannot imagine you going down that yeah, slope yeah. i was just walking around and i saw that and then i went to the top and then it brought me here. I have several bones broken right now. Fantastic. So this is the first living room. It's very rare to find living rooms this size in Japan, let alone a hotel. Yeah, I actually needed to ask, is this actually a hotel or is it a house? Cause I can't tell. It's technically a hotel. And in fact, it is so special that mm. only one group per night gets to stay here. And we just happen to be that lucky group. We are a tiny group, so this is a big place for us. Hell yeah. We have a giant dining table right here. I really love like kind of the modern aesthetic of this place. Kind of reminds me of like some like, you know, European cottage that where a billionaire just put too much money into it. So I think for dinner tonight, you can sit there and I'll sit over here. Well, actually we won't have to worry about that because we actually have a special dinner occasion that we'll be going to, but we'll show you guys that later. In the meantime, uh, they've gotten us welcome drinks. This is like the first class of hotels. We got champagne. champagne. Here's for you, cameraman. Oh, thank you. Come by. God damn, that's a nice champagne as well. But dude, look at this kitchen. I think this is what I want my I, kitchen to look I like really, if I had a house. I really love black kitchens. It's kind of hard to pull off. If you have a black kitchen, I feel like everything else has to match it. So I think True. they put like a lot of thought into the design, the interior design of everything. And you know how awesome this place is. It comes with an actual oven. You never see these in Japan. Oh, they got a Bermuda. We have this at home, yeah. This is great, by the way. I'm not sponsored, but I'm just like saying, this is like legitimately a really good oven. It is actually really good. This is a wine fridge as yeah. well. In case you want to drink copious amounts of wine, which I will probably be doing later. Did you tell them about me? Because like I always drink apple juice. Well, there you go. You have a lifetime supply of apple juice right here. I lifetime as in for the day. But if you thought, this living room and kitchen was absolutely Goliath sized. Then follow along because there's more to the first floor around this corner. I feel like we could easily just like stay in the living room. Yeah, you could you could fit about maybe 20 people just in the living room. Just but this resort actually has three separate bedrooms that are all named after the three biggest mountains here in Hakuba. So this one is the Shaku room. It's also absolutely Goliath sized. <laughs> Look at the size. <laughs> Oh my god. It's so nice. It's way too nice. Can I just say my eyes are on that fallen snowman over there? So you can count. Oh, 
Poor snowman, he's oh. just been destroyed. Don't worry, I'll, I'll fix him. I can fix him. <laughs> I can fix him. I think as well, I really, again, love the kind of modern, but also like almost traditional cottage style. It's like a really nice blend of the two styles. Almost a little westernized. It's hard to explain. I agree. Cause like some of the surrounding areas around here have kind of like a German architecture vibe mm. to them. This one kind of meets in the middle of both German and like Japanese. I like how they thought out like the placement of the windows. Oh, to get the most natural light. Yeah. Right. Again, I think the organizers were saying that this place technically can fit up to 10 people, but I but reckon- But if you tried. Yeah, I reckon you could probably fit more if you try. Maybe like 40. Yeah, probably. Boy, do I have to use the toilet. Oh my God. Uh, it's not just a toilet, it's an entire bathroom. It's not a toilet at all. It's the shower uh, room. Also with a fantastic view, as you can see. Imagine shoveling snow and it's just like, hello, sir. Hello, sir. Nice cock. But we're not done yet. Remember the entrance? This leads to the outside right here. So this hallway right here is for people who are just coming back from skiing or snowboarding to make sure that they don't scratch the floors because down this hallway is the drying room where you can hang up your skis, snowboards, boots, jackets, except this drying room is the size of an average apartment in Tokyo. They're really going overboard with so this. So like after I take a shower, I come here, stand in the middle of this room to dry off. Yeah, you just kind of stand like this. Yeah, yeah just T-pose it? Yeah, oh, just okay. go all the way around like this to also, dry yourself off. This is like really random, but I've been like feeling these walls. I know this is a weird sentence to say, but they're really soft. Feel them. Feel the walls. Don't do drugs, kids. It's like a, it's like a fabric type. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, see? <laughs> Navi, feel the wall, feel the wall. <laughs> and then down the hallway here, we have the Roten, which is everyone's favorite part. So is Roten the name of another mountain? No, it is the name of the Onsen. <gasps> Bro, I am so going in there. We have our own outside Roten room. Do you know how difficult this is to find in Japan? In Onsen looking out at snow, I have been trying to do this for years. This is so difficult to find. Apparently, this is actual natural onsen water as well because Hakuba is not known for natural onsens. What this place has done, again, massive overkill, they literally carried a bunch of onsen water from the nearest onsen location, which is not close to here, by the way, specifically for this bar to make it a legitimate onsen. I found some OnlyFans content. Thank you. And here's my favorite part. They have a freaking elevator. That's how you know this place has too much money and is an absolute bond lit. I mean, you could take the lovely spiral staircase right here as well, but why would I do that when I can just see you guys at the top in an elevator? I'll see you through the stairs. I'll take the stairs. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Welcome to my lair. Now we're at the second bedroom. This is the Yari bedroom, named after Yarigatake, one of the mountains. First of all, I wanna like emphasize this floor. So this is actually a special type of Japanese flooring that is all handmade. What they do is they take the wooden planks, grab a hammer, and they basically knock in all of these indents. So this is all handmade wooden floors and it's one of a kind. You will never get the same pattern twice. And it's also really great for massaging your feet. It feels really good on your feet as well. Get that foot shot. Get that foot shot right there. Damn, for free dog? It smells really good here. I don't know if it's Hinoki, which is like a really nice Japanese wood. Mm, some kind, it's, it's very like, almost floral wood yeah. smell right here because the Yari bedroom is actually the Japanese style bedroom. Check it out. This has to be probably my favorite room. This is so freaking cute. Honestly, like if there's one thing that this place has shown me is that this is the kind of house that I eventually want. This is like what my dream house would look like, except obviously replace all the bedrooms with other things. I feel like when, with this kind of room, it's perfect as is like, don't add anything else. It's like very zen, it's very relaxing, it's very nice. And of course, every bedroom comes with its own bathroom. Also way too massive, by the way. Absolutely overkill with another bathtub, another shower, the longest freaking bathroom hallway I've ever seen. But what if I told you, Aki, that there is another bedroom? This is the final bedroom, Shiro, named after Shiro Omadake. You know what's craziest about this bedroom? It has its own living room. This is so unnecessary. <laughs> Again, this is almost like the size of a standard apartment. Another walk-in closet, because why the hell not? This is where I'll sleep. Come down this hallway here and into the third and final bedroom. This bedroom doesn't have to be this big, but look at the size of this place. It's stupid how big this place is. And again, this is just one room. 
in this entire hotel. Again, may I remind you guys, this is a hotel, I know. Insane. The real question is, who's taking what bedroom? All right, well, I guess we figured that out. <laughs> and another bathroom right here as well, which also, holy crap, that looks majestic. The entire door is a mirror as well. This is the coolest bathroom that I've ever seen. This is a really, really cool okay. bathroom. With the black kitchen, a black bathroom, this is awesome. All right, let's go out onto the balcony. Oh my gosh. We're filming this uh, at the beginning of March. And as you can see, there's still a crap load of snow out here, but because the weather is so nice, it actually feels really good to be out here and just kind of feel the mountain breeze coming through. This is freaking insane. If you lived here, where do you think you would spend the most time in? I think out here. I think out here as well. Did you know that we can also go out here as well? In fact, there is a thousand square meters of land that is all part of this property. So let's go downstairs and run around in the snow. Yee! I'll stay here. All right, let's go out onto this giant balcony. So as you can see, since it's still the tail end of winter, there is a lot of snow that's covered here. But when you come here during uh, the summer, which they call the green season here, then this entire area just becomes this beautiful foresty backyard. I mean, the snow has never stopped me from going out, so I'm going out, dog. Let's go. Dude, it's freaking crazy. Like, this entire area down here is just all part of this property. Like, you could literally have, like, a massive, like, backyard party during the summer with all of your friends staying here. Looks like someone tried to, uh, build a snowman. Don't worry, I can fix you. Ugh. I got you, buddy. Good as new. And again, this looks like an out of bounds area, but I could literally walk all the way pretty much up to that house over there. So again, a thousand square meter backyard in an already Goliath sized hotel. And if you're wondering, this building over here next to it is actually a restaurant area, which we will be dining in later tonight. Because if the hotel wasn't already ridiculous enough, then we are about to have probably one of the most ridiculous fancy dinners anyone could ever have. I am actually like just impressed that the entrance to this restaurant is from our hotel. Like, oh yeah. Like the door mm -hmm. from our room to it's the directly connected. I've never seen that yeah. before. And then there's like a giant knife in front of us. Yeah, they're gonna prepare it right in front of us so we get the full display. I'm excited. My birthday already passed. It's my early birthday. Six months ahead. Yeah, six months ahead. No, you're gonna be excited though for your actual birthday. I can't, we, we're not gonna tell you guys what it is already, but that will be exciting. I'm just genuinely interested to see how this is going to taste because supposedly this has been prepared by the head chef of mm. literally the greatest sushi restaurant in the world. I didn't realize I actually know him. He looked so familiar. And then I was like, wait. And then I went to YouTube and I was like, oh my God, yeah. It's the same guy. So I'm like, because I was looking at it, I was like, he looks like really, like really familiar. <laughs> so this is the baby on mm, Looks a little bit like jellyfish. Oh wow, I can see the face. Mm. It's good. Really good. He's brought out the big guns already. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look Ooh. at that tuna. It's so cool to see this kind of stuff up close as well. Like, this is honestly a once in a lifetime. The way they cut it is so cool. Mm. It's so precise as well. It's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah, just what it is. I'm not even going to pretend to know anything about this kind of stuff. I'm just going to let the Taisho figure it out for me. I, I, if he recommends it, then I'll do it. And it's just, oh my lord. We can't finish a sentence because they keep like showing awesome things. Whatever it is, it's going to be biblical. All right, let's try this. This one's good. Come Ooh, that's very sweet. I actually really like that. Hell yeah. Look at that. That's, that's, like, a, that's like a food commercial. I'm going to put a little bit of wasabi on it. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, did you eat the whole thing at once? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, itadakimashita. I can never have sushi again after this. Nothing will top this. Also the wasabi. This is my first time having like real wasabi. It's not as spicy, right? Yeah, it's like the, it doesn't hurt at all. All the wasabi that you guys have been eating, like that hurts up here, it's because it's horseradish. Real wasabi doesn't hurt at all. This is the best sashimi that I've ever had in my life. I mean, yeah, it literally comes from 
the, the greatest sushi restaurant in the world. I'm just like kind of decorating it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> what we're experiencing should have been like an episode of Food Wars. <laughs> I think you're having your very own food wars moment, to oh, be honest. Oh my god. It's so yeah. good. Look at that. Look at that. You're like a kid yeah. on Christmas. Oh, it's Japan's number one. Wow. Right there. Bro, I feel bad for people watching this who can't eat seafood. You are missing out. That's that's the most beautiful thing ever. This is just a food porn video now. It's so cool to just watch a professional do this right in front of you. The user sends so strong. Yeah. So it's got a little bit of rice and also grated squid. It's like when you take a business class on a flight, you can't go back to economy. Look at that. I like how we're not speaking because we're just like love speechless. It's like watching a painter paint. Yeah. Know? Just let, let the man do his art. Yeah. Okay, so he's marinating in that. Yeah, like a light marinade. Is it good? That's so good. I don't know what else I can say. Just enjoy it. Like it's it melts in your mouth. Like. Awesome. Mm. Bro, that's insane. That's, wow. That's the most beautiful party platter that I've ever seen I, in my life. You're trying the little like uh anako? Mm -hmm. There you go, go for it. That's all I need to know. My turn. It's a wrap. Everyone go home. We've reached peak. Thank you, Miles. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this place is like one piece. The longer you wait, the more peak it gets. I think that one easily was the best one. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Alright, I'm scared because uh, we've got the Ortoro coming out, which is considered by many to be the best part of the tuna. We're still reaching peak. Dude, we will get much higher with this. I tried to take my sweet time eating that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just so it can last in your mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> See you on the other side. The one piece is real. I just ate it. I'm dead ass when I say this. That might have been the best piece of fish I've ever had in my life. Like, I don't think I will have a piece of fish as good as what I just had. So unfortunately, the next one is going to be the last one. I could eat this forever. Yeah, honestly. Really. Hey. There you go, enjoy. Mm. The yuzu. Mm. That was a good way to end it. Oh wow. It's like not too fishy, which I think is a good way to end it. Like yeah. kind of end off on a clean palate. Honestly, that was one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. Literally. Like, I think this is one of those meals that I'm just gonna remember for the rest of my life. And that's also, that can be a bad thing because like everything else, because you will always remember this, everything else you eat, you'll just think back that, to this That's one. just ruined every meal for me for the rest of my life. I'll, I don't think I'll ever have anything that good again. Well, now that we've had our succulent meal, we're gonna end off the night by going to the top of the mountain to get what is supposedly the most beautiful view of the nighttime skies. So I just found out that this nighttime star viewing at the top of the mountain is only for people who stay at Cannoli Resorts. Therefore, they are literally moving this gondola that is completely stopped at this time of night and bringing out the rescue team just for us. I feel safe. <laughs> I feel good. I love how the first time you come to a ski field and it's in one of the most rare circumstances. This is like the best experience that I could have on this. <laughs> All right, here we are. The only gondola to arrive at this time. Dude, it's so bizarre to be up at the top of the mountain at 9 p.m. Look at the time right there. You should not be up here at this time of night. Hi, hi. This is epic, dude. It's kind of scary. It is kind of scary. I don't think we're going to be doing a freaking hike today. Jesus Christ. Life is full of surprises. One day you're eating a $2 kombini sandwich, the next day you're hiking on a closed ski resort. <laughs> I'm telling myself this is a great way to burn off the sushi we just had. I'm burning calories right now. My ass hurts. Look at that beautiful mountain range. That's insane. And the stars as well. Wow. I'm a little bit hazy today, but I mean, check out this view, dude. This is unlike anything you'll ever see in your life. This is honestly something special that I'm giving to you guys today because again, this is very, very exclusive. Meanwhile, she's also dying in an exclusive manner. <laughs> As you can see, this is where the ski lift ends. Really weird to see a ski lift from the top 
at this time. God, look at those mountains. Look at that. It's insane. Darling, have you been looking at the mountains? It's so pretty. <laughs> I promise. It's actually really beautiful. Just don't have the energy to express it. I don't think I've ever been this high up on a mountain in my life. I've never, let alone hiked, let alone been in snow boots. This is like a first time for almost everything for me. But goddamn, I can't imagine what this probably looks like during the day too. Well, we've made it to the top of the mountain. Uh, it's, as you can see, a little bit hazy today, but hey, we still got amazing views of the stars up above, amazing views of the mountain range over there. And again, what an amazing one of a lifetime experience. How many people can say that they've climbed the top of Hakuba Ski Resort at 9 p.m. to get a nighttime view of the city. Honestly, Aki and I are the only ones who have ever experienced it around my vicinity. The air is quite thin up here. I'm absolutely exhausted. I didn't think I was gonna be climbing up a ski slope today, but uh, hey, that's another thing that I got to experience today, I guess. But I'm sweaty, I'm tired, I'm full, and man, that onsen when we get home is gonna slap. So I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Wow, that was an amazing experience if I do say so myself. Definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity that I was glad to share with you guys here in this video. Nothing like waking up to a beautiful snowy view in your own private onsen. But guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the difference between the $10 hotel and this $10,000 hotel. Which one would you rather stay in? I mean, I think it goes without saying, but uh, it's this one. But if you're interested in checking out both, then I've left the link to the places down in the description below, so make sure to go check it out. And thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Sound it. Oh.